Christmas. I'm excited. Today is holiday road trip prep day. So I know that doesn't sound that exciting, but I'm just so excited to be leaving for the holidays to see my family and get Christmas rolling. But I also have a lot to do today. Luckily, I was able to sleep really well last night. If you guys caught my last Vlogmas, I've been having the start of pregnancy insomnia, which I feel like it's really early for that so far with Lila. I didn't get that until probably closer to the third trimester. So yesterday morning I was up at like 4 a.m. This morning I was able to sleep in, let's see, almost till six. And the only reason I was up at six instead of normally seven-ish is when our day normally gets started is Lila woke up early. And I think it's because I put her to bed early because she also woke up early the day before because when mommy's awake, Lila's awake. But I feel like I got some really good sleep. I feel energized, ready to roll. I just dropped Lila off at school. So I have a few hours to get as much done as possible before I have her running around as well. So therefore, of course, I needed some holiday inspiration and energy. So I'm in the Starbucks drive through line. A good coffee always boosts my mood and I actually haven't had coffee in a few days. Actually, I don't think I've had coffee in a week. Last Friday and today's Friday, so probably a week ago was the last time I had coffee. So I am ready for my coffee treat. If you guys are new to my channel, I am pregnant. We're expecting baby number two. I am 20 weeks pregnant. We just found out the baby's gender and we're gonna be sharing a gender reveal with our family and all of you on Christmas day. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that big announcement. Today though, I am just gonna be running around. I'm getting my coffee and then I'm gonna stop and fill up my car with gas right away so we are ready to go. We're leaving super, super early tomorrow morning. I'm talking like our goal is to leave between 4 a.m. and 5 a.m. because I'd much rather get on the road and get to our destination earlier than be driving super late. And I can also never sleep the night before a big trip. I don't know about you guys, but I get like excited and anxious. And then I'm already up half the night, so we may as well hit the road and let Lila sleep in the car a little bit. Am I right? So I'll be taking the first driving shift in the morning. So I'm going to go ahead and get my car filled up with gas. I got to clean out my car. Luckily, it's not too bad. For mom life i have just like bits and pieces here and there i gotta empty some trash things like that i have to find and pull all the masks out of our car and house i think that's the last load of laundry i need to do before we leave i've been doing laundry like crazy all week so i think after that load will be set and i can finally start packing us other than our clothes packing i also need to get like our food snack bag ready to go lila's activity backpack i always like to leave my house like picked up and somewhat clean before i leave out of town because i feel like it's the worst getting getting back to your house and it being a disaster after being gone for a long time and you have to unpack and you have to clean and organize and all that stuff. So I'm going to try and get as much done as I can this morning. So first up, coffee. Second, we're going to fill up the car with gas. Then we're going to go home, do some vacuuming, pick up the house, get the last loads of laundry going, clean out the car. So we have a really busy day. There's a lot to get done, but I just feel so excited. I feel like because we're going out of town for the holidays, once we get there, it's really gonna feel like Christmas is here and it has started and Josh is gonna be off work a little bit. So we get to do lots of fun things with the family before the holiday actually hits. Ooh, I'm up to order. I'm gonna grab my coffee and I'll be back. So I got my Starbucks. I got my chestnut praline latte. I keep telling you guys I'm gonna try something different, but it's just so good. It's like my favorite of their holiday drinks. Um, what I do is I swap their milk for almond milk. And then I just ask for two pumps of the chestnut praline syrup and two pumps of the sugar-free vanilla. It definitely cuts the points down. Um, I also do no whip topping or extra topping, but it's still plenty sweet. It has a great holiday flavor. Um, so this is my go-to and it's five points on the WW personal points plan for me. So I am pregnant, but I do still follow the WW personal points plan Monday through Friday, Saturday and Sunday I use as like free days. I don't really track. Um, and I do give myself some extra points. So I'm more at like a maintenance level for my points than at a calorie deficit. Cause obviously weight loss is not my goal in pregnancy and also grabbed a breakfast sandwich. This is the bacon Gouda egg breakfast sandwich. It's so good. It's 12 points, which is kind of a lot for the size sandwich it is, but it's really good. And to be honest with us going out of town, I'm like pretty bare bones in the house on food. So I picked that up for breakfast. Honestly, it's probably like breakfast and most of my points that I'd end up eating for lunch anyway. The stuff I have at home that I need to eat up is like lettuce and I can have a salad or fruit, yogurt, things like that that are all pretty low in points. So I think I'll still be good. And then we're going to be digging through the pantry to find what we can have for dinner tonight. We're going to be on the road all day tomorrow eating out. So I'm going to try not to do pickup for dinner tonight. I'm going to try and make something. That's one of the other things I like to do 
on my trip prep day today is I'm gonna go through my fridge, freezer, pantry, toss anything that's gonna expire while we're gone and try to prep as much as I can, anything left from the fridge that I can put in the freezer so it doesn't go bad and I don't just have to toss it and waste it. So that's also on the list for today. There's a lot on the list for today. Anyway, I'm at Costco. I'm gonna go grab gas in my car and then we'll head home and start on all of this holiday trip prep. Okay guys, I have the car cleaned up, the downstairs cleaned up and vacuumed just for like a fresh, relaxing space while I get to work packing everything. Did you guys count how many masks do you think I found around just my car? And then I also picked up another handful just laying around the house. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so at least I have a variety. I have some for me, some for Josh, some for Lila. We are still gonna be really careful this road trip with everything going on. Obviously I'm pregnant. Lila hasn't been vaccinated yet because she's too young for it. So we're gonna be really careful traveling. Um, we have traveled and done car trips a few times in the last two years and we have a pretty good system down. I have a potty seat that we used for Lila when she was potty training. And it's just like a little portable one that has handles that you can just bring with you really easily. And I create like a car bag that's like one of my reusable bags and it's the potty seat, disinfectant wipes, a roll of paper towels, hand sanitizer, hand and face wipes, like kind of everything we need to just constantly be trying to keep as clean and sanitized as possible. Honestly, this may be a new way that we just always travel. Even before COVID, I feel like every time we took a long road trip when we were using public restrooms, in and out of rest stops, and eating out for like an entire day and then sitting in the car, one of us always, always got sick on one end or the other of the car trip. Who wants to travel and then get sick? Nobody, especially at the holidays. So we're taking all of the precautions we can to stay healthy and clean during our road trip. I feel like I have a new process and system and we're gonna be good to go. We're gonna be masked, we have hand sanitizer, we have tons of disinfectant wipes and we're just gonna do the best we can. So to wash our masks, I always use a little laundry bag, but I find it really helps them get clean without them getting like distorted in shape or falling apart. So I'm gonna use that, run that load of face masks and then I am done 
it with laundry before our trip. But I did also already check through my fridge to see if I needed to move anything to the freezer. And we surprisingly did a really good job eating through things this last week. I did not go to the grocery store. We've just been making it work, making meals out of what we had. So I really don't have much to prep to move over. So that just means after I get Lila, we're gonna go get the car cleaned. And then when we come home, it's just folding laundry and packing. So I think we're doing okay. Why are kids so entertained by a car wash? We're getting squeaky clean. Car wash time. <laughs> okay, we're home. And that means let the laundry folding begin. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times. I've started laying out outfits to get packing. Basically, if it was maternity and it fit me, then it's coming. I don't have that many clothes. Lila is a little overexcited. She's like buzzing around like a bee. I just talked to my mom to update her on our travel plans. So it's getting there, we're almost there. And just like that, it went from being um, right around five o'clock to being almost nine. And I haven't picked up to film since then. I've just been running around folding stuff. I got Lila all packed, her suitcase is done. Josh got home, his suitcase is all done. He's packing up odds and ends. Really quick, I'll share with you guys some of the other things we pack in the car other than like our suitcases. Here's Lila's little backpack. She just uses this um, when we're like in the car on trips and things. So she has a change of clothes because I'll probably just get her right in the car when we wake up in her jammies. Um, she has a few activities. She has, um, this is a color one case with coloring pages and markers. This is that dry erase board book I bought her the other day. So it comes with a dry erase marker and it's like looking fine. So it's an activity, some magna blocks to play with. Um, there's some little Play-Dohs and I have, oh, this is such a good tip. I was looking through the dollar spot at Target earlier this week. That's when I picked up the Play-Doh and like I have like this craft activity pack from their like dollar spot section. And there was another mom who was there looking around and shopping and Lila said something and she laughed. And then we started just like casually talking. And I had said, I'm letting her pick out some things cause we have a road trip. And she's like, oh, do you know the hack about bringing a sheet pan with you for your kids? And I was like, a sheet pan, like for baking, for what? And she said, it can be an activity tray. They put it in their laps. They have it for if they're eating, it's a bigger surface to lay stuff on. If you're eating in the car, you can have it as a stable surface to color or draw on. It's a great surface to do Play-Doh on. So that's when I grabbed that little pack of Play-Dohs after she told me that. And also because Lila's been obsessed with her Magna blocks, which I also packed, um, it'll be a way for them to stick to something and she can build with them. So I thought that was such a great idea. It's such a flat surface that it doesn't take up hardly any room in the car. And then she's a little activity table. So a little magnetic surface activity table slash food tray. I thought that was a great hack. So we're doing that this time around. And then obviously I also have the iPad with some movies and shows that she picked out on it. In here is just kind of like our snack bag and other odds and ends we want to bring to my mom's. I brought Lila a sippy with, not that she uses a sippy cup almost ever. The only time I give her this, we call them hot cocoa cups because it's a hot drink. I never want her to spill on herself. Like we still only serve it to her like lukewarm, but she likes these for hot cocoa. And since we're bringing hot cocoa bombs with us on this trip, I brought her a cocoa cup. Um, I brought my Starbucks uh, Christmas tumbler just to have because I like straw cups. Some built bars for the trip. This is that chocolate orange from Trader Joe's is a little treat. A snack cup to put Lila's snacks in on the way. Um, what else did we got? I have some Cheez-Its that we had in the pantry. Along with these were also one of the Trader Joe's items I picked up in that haul, the Scandinavian Tidings Gummy. So a little, a couple little snacks and treats. I don't have a ton of snacks because we do stop for meals. We are creatures of habit. We end up stopping at almost the same Panera for breakfast to grab bagels and coffee, as well as then like for a late lunch. We normally try to push through with just like some snacks or whatever until we get to Indiana. And then we end up stopping for sandwiches normally. So at like a Jimmy John's or Subway or something like that. So we try to 
keep it less greasy if we can. Trust me, we've stopped at McDonald's before. It's a good thing to get Lila, I know she'll eat it, but I always feel better during a long car trip when I can eat something that's less like burgers and fries. If I can stick more like bagels or sandwiches or salads on the go, that always makes me feel so much better when I have a long car ride. And of course, we cannot forget wet wipes, hand and face wipes. So I also have this other bag packed. So we have paper towel. This is the potty seat I was telling you guys um, for Lila. I will bring this, it's clean. And I have some Clorox wipes in here and I will disinfect it every time. I will bring this in to the public restrooms with us and make her use it. It just helps us not get sick. These are just a bunch of empty plastic bags. We will use them for trash and things like that on the road. So I packed those two small bags to go in the car. And then all we have left to pack is Millie's stuff, like her bowls and her food and treats and her bed. So yeah, we're pretty much all packed. We just have to get everything in the car. However, it's nine o'clock and because we've been in the middle of packing, I haven't made dinner yet. I did make Lila some pasta and I cooked up the whole box so Josh and I could have some too. And basically I'm throwing together a uh, what's in my fridge pasta dish. So I have pasta, which is definitely cold by now, but I'm going to reheat it up in the sauce I make. Basically I pulled this stuff out of the fridge. These are some leftover tomatoes and mini bell peppers. I know they will go bad before we get back. So I'm going to just dice those up and saute them in a pan. Then once they're sauteed, I'm gonna add the last of the spinach artichoke dip to make a sauce out of it. This I had because I did an appetizers for dinner night. Um, if that one has, I think that one's already gone up by the time you guys are seeing this vlog. So you guys can check out that. I made some really fun holiday appetizers that are all three ingredients or less. I'll tag it in the I card above, but we have the spinach artichoke dip left. So I'm gonna make a sauce out of that. We'll toss in some veg. We'll top with a little cheese, toss the pasta and call it a night. Be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year I wanna hang out with my friends and family. Making angels in the sand, you and me. Doesn't matter if it's Christmas. Santa's coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss it. I put a little heavy cream in the sauce to help um, loosen it up. It was a little too thick, but it's looking really good for a let's throw anything I have in my fridge into a pasta dish night kind of night. I was really tempted just to throw a frozen pizza in the oven, but man, I'm glad I didn't. This looks so good. And I know it looks like a lot, but Josh and I will eat ours for dinner tonight and then it'll be really easy to toss the rest um, in a bag or container in the freezer. And that'll be a little frozen meal prep uh, when we get home from our trip. So this looks great. We're gonna eat. Making our Christmas memories. I've been wrapping presents for you. I've been hanging marbles in the tree. And I live my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me